Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Suslawati. I'm an excellent Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience. I recently came across Danup, a certified custom visual for Microsoft Power BI, which allows Power BI users to use JSON syntax of Figure or Figure Light language to create their own data visualization, something like this. If you're new to Danup and would like to find out more about it, this video is for you as I will be showing you step-by-step -step tutorial on how to import a Danup template that you find on the web, how to insert a Danup visual to your Power BI report, how to make modifications to the Danup template such as changing color, how to export your own Danup template so that you can recycle it in the future. And lastly, at the end of the video, I will also discuss the plus and minuses of using Danup visuals. Before we get started on this tutorial, I'd like to make a very special acknowledgement to two very special people who have inspired me to make this video. The first person is Ing J. Park. He's a YouTuber who is extremely good with Power BI. He's a recent winner of Power BI Muffin Pizza Challenge competition. He made a short video on how to create a Danup heatmap visualization in Power BI along with the links where you can download the template so you can use it in your visualization. The second person, is Kerry Kolosko. She's the queen of data visualization who has created countless custom visualization for Power BI using Danup and made her templates available for everyone to use for free in her website. Let's say we like this Danup visualization and we want to incorporate this in our Power BI reports. How do we do that? Just click the description of his shorts and he has kindly published his template. Click it and look at this. This is his JSON code. With this, we can copy it, save it as our JSON template and then use that in our Danup visualization in Power BI. Let me walk you through step by step. First just click this copy raw content. Once you have done that, then type notepad and then press Ctrl V. So we are copying it into notes and then go file, save as, and then in here, just type heat map park JSON, save. Just hit yes. Let's take a moment to digest the script. This is a JSON script written using Visualite. And then there is some version information over here. And then there is information about who created the file and it says Enjoy Park. And then this is important, the data set, because it tells us what input is required before we can apply this. Now, this is saying day of the week, that's the first input, and then the month, and then KPI. Day of the week should be in text, month should be in text, and KPI should be a numeric. Next is to prepare the data model. I have an Excel file over here with one date column, one quantity salt column, and then two columns over here, day of the week and month, both are formatted as text. And I have derived that using this formula from the date column, as well as derive the month using this formula from the date column. Next, we need to save and close the file. But before we do that, make sure you convert your data set into table by pressing Ctrl T. Next, go to Power BI, click Import Data from Excel, select the file that we created earlier, and then just wait for the data to flow into our model. Click Table, hit Load, and voila, very soon. Okay we can see all the fields that we created earlier. Next is to create a new measure for average quantity salt. Just type average quantity salt equal average and we want the quantity field to be average out. Click tick. And then notice a calculator sign up here. That's our new measure successfully created. Next, let's insert Danup visuals. Click get more visuals. And then type Danup. There you go. Click it. And then just wait for a bit. And then click it. 
once you have done that that window pop up click ok and we have that denim click denim icon something appear on the left giving us instruction what to do it says to create the data set that we want to work with add desired columns or measures into the value data row what does it mean it means click and drag day of week month as well as the kpi which is average quantity sold once we have done that then the next step is to click the visual header three dots over here which is this yeah click that and then hit edit and then after that there is several options whether we want to start empty or make bar chart group bar chart etc now this is not what we want to do and then there is options around figure well we are not going to do this today what we're going to do is import from template because we have created the json template earlier from park bi yeah so let's select json template in here and then click that and then hit open and then it will prompt us to map the field and the column or measure so for day of week that's our day of week per month just select month and for kpi select average quantity sold and then hit create this window appear i'll explain this in a second but if you want to see how it look like in your report just click back to report voila that's our heat map chart that has been successfully created let's say we want to make changes to our visuals what we need to do is click these three dots and then hit edit and then the windows that we saw earlier reappear on the left this is where we type our json codes and we can make modifications and then on the right is a preview of our visuals whatever that we type on the left will influence what we see on the right and this is the preview of our data so what do i mean let's say we want to change the height of this bar chart then we need to change that from 60 pixel let's say to 160 and watch this as i change that to 160 and i click apply voila that has become longer okay now if we want to change the color for example at the moment the color is pbi4 what does 4 mean 4 means this when you click view themes four means it's color number four one two three four which is this pink if we want it to become orange then we need to enter color number two for example hit play now that's orange now if we enter color number zero it will become make a guess yes light blue let's see voila got that so now if we want it to be purple that's color number zero one two three and then hit play again so that you can see the preview okay so that's how you change the visuals by changing all the inputs on the left using json code then our visuals on the right get updated and then you can click back to the report to see whatever changes that you made on the other window embedded in here let's have a closer look at our tables hmm the dates are not sorted properly the months is properly sorted how do we fix this we must fix the json code to do that click the three dots click edit and then just scroll down and look for the sorting of the days this is where days get started now hmm, what's going on in here look at that everything is in small fonts whereas our data is in capital so we need to change that so that it works i'm going to make the capital m for monday capital t for tuesday and then w for wednesday and let's just fix that so we are changing our json code or the other alternative is change our data so that they're all in small fonts now after we have changed that don't forget click the apply button and look at that things are now nicely sorted let's say if you want to delete these visualizations you will notice that you cannot just click and then hit delete on your keyboard it doesn't work unlike with other visuals what you need to do is you need to click these three dots and then click remove 
Let's say we want to move this dynamic visual to the right. We cannot just click and drag. It doesn't work. What you need to do is click format your visuals, click general, open up properties, and then go and click positions, and then modify the positions of the visuals. If you want things to go to the right, then just make that 30, say 500 pixels. There you go, it's moving to the right. And if you want to move it down, change the vertical, which is zero pixel from the top, make it say 1000 pixel. There you go, it's now moving down. There is one cool thing that we can do with Denup Visuals, and that is you can change the color theme. So go to Format Theme and watch this. If you select different themes, oh, how pretty, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Which one is your favorite? I'm going to leave it at that because I think it's cute. Next, I'm going to show you how we can download the script for this template so that we can recycle it for our next report. So click the three dots, hit edit, and then we are back to this window where we can see the scripts over here. And then let's do one more thing before we make changes. This is what we're going to do. We're going to change the height. We're going to make that back to 60. Hit apply. Okay, now that's our beautiful template. And then we're going to do this. We are going to generate JSON template. Now it's going to prompt us to put the template name. So we're going to just say heat map chart. And then we're going to say the author, Isabella Susilowati. We're not going to include a preview image. There is an option to include or not include. And then for data sets, we're going to leave it at that. So it generates the template with my name as the author. Look at that. How cool is this? Then after that, just click copy. Copy to clipboard and then same steps. Go to notepad and then control V and then save it. I'm going to call it heat map Isabella dot Jason. The biggest plus is that it opens up potential to create new visuals and create something unique, which is not available in Power BI standard visualization. Invest the time to set up the template once and we can use it over and over again. There are lots of templates that have been developed by other Danup lovers in the internet. Carrie Kolosko in particular published the most impressive looking template in her website, super awesome and super inspiring. The downside is that it is a little bit tricky to handle the Danup visuals. For example, we can't click and drag to move the visual across Power BI page. We can simply resize the visuals. We need to modify the code. We can't add labels. We need to modify the code. Hmm. Recently, I was trying to adapt the Injai Park template to show seasonality by day and by month. I wanted to add data labels. With my limited understanding of Python, I couldn't figure out how to quickly add data labels to the bar chart. In the end, I ended up recreating the data using standard Power BI visualization. Here is the link to my YouTube video where I have just done that. So what do you think, guys? Have you tried out Danup before? If not, will you give it a go?